You are going to hear the story of Anthony Tucker, a young man who has come to the United States to study and make a life as a result of our Synod's companion relationship with the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Sierra Leone. He will tell you how much of a gift we have been to him. But Billy Jean and I want you to know that Anthony, the singer, the youth leader, the avid student of economics and business who earned two master's degrees in his first two years here, and faithful witness to his faith and culture has been the real gift to us. Sharing gifts brings forth gratitude and blessings. Here is his story. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Anthony Tucker and I have the singular honor to share my story with you all today. Uh, I've been in the United States going 12 years now, but my story started in a small West African country of Sierra Leone uh, with a population size of about 8 million people. I grew up in the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Sierra Leone, ELCSL for short. On a personal note, my very first experience of this relationship was in 1996. I was age 11 at this point. Among uh, those baptized by the late Bishop Mark Abner. So out of the waters of baptism, uh, I became actively involved and engaged uh, with the work of the church back in Sierra Leone. Picture me as a young boy uh, playing drums as the whole church sing during regular uh, worship. So for me, it, it started with music specifically being a percussionist for my home congregation. I then became leader for the Lutheran Youth Organization at the national level, uh, which led to my second experience of the relationship between NTN and ELCSL. And this happened in 2007, 2008. I was among the young leaders from ELCSL that visited Texas for about a month. Uh, the Jubilee Singles were called then. Uh, we went to various congregation across the Synod, telling stories about the church in Sierra Leone and sharing a gift for music and dancing. It was a very great experience. I understood from that trip that Christ is everywhere throughout the world. My third experience of this relationship between NTNL and ELCSL happened in 2009 when through the diversity visa program uh, that is administered by the state department i relocated to texas i told the bishop i was coming bishop kevin canals and he and his family literally opened their home their hats and pockets to me and served as guardian as i tried to figure out my new environment I should say that with this thought experience, I truly understood what it meant, what the word hospitality means. So in addition to the canals, uh, there were many other people uh, throughout the NTNL Synod that supported me along the way. And for that, I remain forever grateful. Fast forward to today, I've completed my grad school, uh, got a corporate job and a striving career married a beautiful woman and we have a four-year-old son who just recently started preschool. My mother, sister, aunt are all here as well in the States and we are members of Advent Lutheran Church in Arlington. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my story. Thank you for uh, letting me share my story with you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.